I'm Christine. After working hard for many years accumulating material things, I decided to sell it all. Now I travel living out of my SUV. I roam around looking for adventure, food, and fun. If you'd like to be my travel buddy, then like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Join my Patreon or YouTube membership community for exclusive perks and content. Woo! In this video, I have a pretty typical day in car life and end it with a new experience by attending a board game night. After a good night's sleep, I have breakfast and get ready at the gym for a fun day at the carnival, which includes a delicious vanilla cream elephant ear, a Mardi Gras parade, and a classic rock concert. I am in Lafayette, Louisiana. I am done with most of the touristy things that I had planned for this area. I started in New Orleans and did a couple things there. I've been here in Acadiana, uh, experiencing Cajun culture for a few days. That's been really fun. But the next few days should be a little bit more normal, but I still have some random adventures planned. So I thought it might be fun to just do like a casual vlog and bring you guys along. I just got out of the gym and as per usual, I am starving. So our first step of the day is Aldi's for some groceries. I'm so hungry. I snuck a piece of cheese before I went into Aldi. I have this cheese, sliced cheese from yesterday that I need to use up. So I was trying to save my appetite because I'm going to buy like cheese and crackers and have like a nice meal, but I had to eat at least one slice. <laughs> I'm going to bring my water bottle in there too. Aldi usually has the type of drinking fountain that fills from the top, which is obviously more hygienic. So I'm going to take this in and get some more water for the day. Well, it was a little more expensive than I planned, but I got a lot of snacks and breakfast for the next several days. We are headed to the park to make lunch and do chores. I've been hanging out at this park for a couple of days. There's nothing special about it, but it's quiet and there's a restroom and it's like under five minutes from every place that I go, the gym, the grocery store, all of that. So that's where we're headed. Yikes, that's a messy car. <laughs> I will be cleaning it up next, but first I need to eat. I am so hungry. I'm grabbing my cutting board and we can set it up right here. I spilled olive juice over everything. I do really love olives though, so I'm sure it'll still taste great. Mm, it does. Mm. All right, time to do morning chores. I have lots of editing to do, so my plan for the afternoon is just to work away. I am taking a couple laps around the park just to stretch my legs after sitting for so long in the car before I head to my next activity. So I was just kind of looking up things to do in the area and I checked meetup groups and there is a uh, gaming store that sells board games and other games that is hosting like a board game night tonight and they said any skill level can come. My skill level is zero, <laughs> at least on like complicated board games, but I'm interested and I thought it would be fun. It's free, I'll get to meet people. Worst case, it's too complicated and I'll just watch people play, which would still be a little fun just to learn. So I don't know what to expect, but just gonna try something new. So after I walk this lap, I'm gonna head back to the car and zip over that way. I'm nervous. Wish me luck. I just saw that you guys had a board game night advertised here. Yeah. And it's All okay if I don't have experience. I can yeah, just check perfect. it out or okay.
two there. Uh, one here and one up there. Bam triggers. Uh, deal one damage to each hero at his location, so you take another damage. Which is funny because he has more special abilities than Peter. True. You start with two smalls and a medium. Okay, yeah. Who are you going to be? What did you guys think of this one? It was actually fun. That was a lot of fun. I'm glad I did that. Everyone was really patient with me. There was a bunch of other people it, that it was their first time too. So I wasn't the only one that had questions. It was really fun. So the first game that we played was called War Chest. It was a lot like chess in that like you had different chips that could move in different ways and um, you would pull cards and they could like attack in different ways. But that was pretty simple to learn. That was really fun. So the second game we played was Marvel United. So it was based on all the Marvel characters, not all of them, but a lot of the Marvel characters. And it was a four player game and all of us four players were heroes. We got to pick who we were. So the first time I was Hulk and then I was uh, Iron Man. <laughs> and we had to work together to defeat the villain and that changed every time so we fought juggernaut taskmaster and red face <laughs> red hood no red face i don't know red skull but yeah so we had to uh work together to defeat the villain and um you know you would pull cards and that would determine if you could like move or attack or do like what's like a heroic action <laughs> and um, all of those got you closer to defeating the villain, which we did three times. So um, I was worried the games would be super, super complicated and they were difficult, but not any more difficult than a lot of other board games I've played in my life. So not overwhelming at all, just fun. I would do it again, I'm glad I went. <laughs> I'm going to finish getting ready for bed and then find a place to park for the night. This looks pretty good, I think. Good night. Good morning. I've already had my coffee, so I am feeling pretty awake. But now I am hungry. And my routine lately has been to eat some fresh fruit and nuts before I hit the gym. I bought these apples from Aldi, so I'm good there. And I have been loving these raw cashews. I eat about a handful of them in the morning before the gym, and it just starts my day with some protein. But also I've heard that cashews are high in niacin, which helps your brain with like serotonin production. So I feel like I'm also like helping my mood and mental health. So good start to the day. So I am officially ready to start the day now. Lafayette, Louisiana is hosting a free Mardi Gras festival. It's supposed to have like carnival rides for kids and bands and a big Mardi Gras parade tonight. It's a free event and I had to do some research but I found free parking too. So I shouldn't have to spend any money on this fun but I do want to spend some money on good fair food. I'm a sucker for anything fried and delicious. <laughs> so I am on the hunt for something to eat first. I took a couple laps around just to make sure I was making the right choice and I have landed on an elephant ear that sounds delicious right now, so I'm gonna go order. Can I order at this window? Could I get an elephant ear, please? Uh, elephant ear is gonna be $10. Thank you. 
What are the topping choices? M and M's, cherry. What's this? This one. Uh, it's vanilla cream. Can I have vanilla cream? Yes. Uh, so it's gonna be an extra one dollar. Okay. Look at this giant elephant ear. It was only a dollar to add a topping, so I picked vanilla cream. This just came out of the fryer. It is piping hot, but it looks and smells amazing. Look at that deliciousness. Yay! childhood joy. <laughs> so for those of you unlucky enough to not know what an elephant ear is, it's basically just a giant circle of dough that they deep fry. I'm sure there's like sugar in it to make it extra sweet. Then they top it with cinnamon sugar. And in this case, there were a couple different topping options, but again, I got the vanilla cream. It is warm and doughy and sugary and cinnamony, and in this case, creamy and vanilla-y. <laughs> it's all the good ease. <laughs> Mardi Gras is this coming Tuesday and Lafayette is celebrating with a big parade. So I am headed that way to try to get a good spot. Well, that was fun as always. I am headed back to the festival for a free concert. Hopefully you enjoyed it too. If you did, hit like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.